Its long nose looks like a hot dog hanging on its face. When it is excited, its big nose will stand up or sway up and down, which is very strange. Its name is the long-nosed monkey. It is not only a skilled tree climber, but also a skilled swimmer. It is a unique animal in Kalimantan, Southeast Asia. Their noses are surprisingly large, with male monkeys growing larger and eventually forming a red, eggplant-like nose as they age, while female monkeys have a normal nose. As one ages, this type of nose will also grow longer and longer, until it reaches about 8 centimeters, and finally hangs on the face like a meat dog. It still gets in the way while eating and needs to poke its nose with its hand. When they are running, their noses sway back and forth on their faces, which is very inconvenient. What is the purpose of this very inconvenient nose? In fact, the nose of this monkey, like the feathers of a peacock, is a symbol of identity. Many animals in nature, when looking for mates, rely on information unique to males to find their husbands. Female long-nosed monkeys will select their husbands based on the length of the male monkey's nose. A large nose is considered attractive in the eyes of females and can have a significant advantage in the marriage market. Long-nosed monkeys breed once a year, and during the breeding season, male animals mainly rely on their large noses to win the favor of female monkeys. The pregnancy period of female monkeys is about 166 days, with only one offspring per pregnancy. The fur of the young is black and very sparse, turning yellow after six months. The young monkeys reach adulthood seven years later. The long-nosed monkey mainly feeds on fruits, seeds, mangrove buds and tender leaves, and sometimes also feeds on invertebrates such as caterpillars and larvae. On the island of Kalimantan, due to the poor soil, the larger-nosed monkeys do not have abundant food, and many plant leaves are rough and cannot be digested. Therefore, in the season when the fruits on the trees are not yet ripe, it is also difficult to find edible food forcing them to walk several kilometers every day to find enough food. 